okay um this is my intro but this is the end of the day not the beginning of the day um short story got invited to go on a permission that's never been detected on the map it looked pretty good um on archie.com so quite a few significant finds here mostly neolithic you know bits of flint flint axes and blades etc plus a bit of bronze age you know some arrowheads and uh, axe heads that have been found here and I thought whoa that's looking pretty damn good anyway so I met up with a chap who invited me we had a wander around first off I had a little recce um, he's not a normal metal detector he doesn't normally do metal detecting but we did get sort him out with a little machine he had a little play um, yeah well I think if you watch the video you'll find out how we got on um, yeah and we'll see you on the next one. Right, there we go, this is the first find, a significant find, shall we say, a little fruitney bit. I think it's like George VI on there, but do you never dig that one. Right, let you have a quick pan round roughly where I am, a bit of woodlands here. Uh, field there, can't go on that field unfortunately, but free to roam around these woods. There's been quite a few um, older finds here. Okay, we'll crack on and see what else we can find. Right, let's see what we've got coming up here. Uh, might be a half penny. Uh, Search through the lonely earth for me Climb through the briar and bramble I'll be your treasure I felt the touch of the kings And the breath of the wind I knew the call of all the songbirds They sang all the wrong words I'm waiting for you. Follow me where a love lost at sea Is waiting for you Is waiting for you Do you know what it could even be five pence? Actually I think it is five pence How bizarre was it 3p? I don't know. I can't see. You might be see better than what I can. But to me, at the bottom, it looks like a five just there. All right. Well, we'll carry on this this little bit of grass here and see how we get on. All right. See you on the next one. Right. That's about the third one of these I found. Oh. 
I'm pretty sure they're half pennies. It could be a five because uh, I can't see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Queen Elizabeth on there. Well, I think it is. But yeah, there's three of them at least I found. Two and one hole, which wasn't too far away. I know they haven't got much value, but perhaps someone <laughs> they had a handful of them just lobbed them. I don't know. All right, well, uh, we'll carry on a bit longer. Hi right, guys, well, welcome to the roundup. This is um, the results of the day we spent on that site. Um, couple of pennies, half pennies, sorry. Couple of half pennies, uh, a fruitly bit. So that's King George the fifth, fifth, King George the sixth, modern day penny. These 5p coins, they look like half p coins actually. Uh, got a little buckle. I think that could be, could be, could be off uh, like a knee buckle. I'm not 100% sure. Um, little button, bit cut with a shrapnel. This is the most interesting thing I think, is I think this is off a medieval book clasp. There you go see that very well Let's see if we can focus that in a bit better i'm using my phone rather than a gopro uh yeah it had a hinge there it gives a hinge on it on the back and if i turn it side side view on you can see there's like a, a sticky out bit which would have perhaps popped in to the other part of the latch but it's riveted um i don't know if i can zoom it in any better yeah but i think that's Probably a medieval book class. Comments below if you agree with me or don't agree with me. Sort of heart shaped. Well, I kind of like that. I think it's a medieval book class anyway. But um, I'm sure someone out there might know a bit better than what I do. Uh, and then this little thing here, it's got a thread on the inside. You might just better see that. Uh, and grooves around here. I think that's probably the lid of a hip flask, like a whiskey hip flask. Might have been silver coated once or silver plated, but it's definitely copper. So um, I found that out, out on, the, on the lawn. Right, so the area we went to, um, it's an old sand pit, sand quarry, whatever you call it. They used to get extract sand from there. Um, there's been quite a lot of flint axes found there um some bronze age stuff as well which would kind of make you think well you know use a lot of sand for sand casting and that's perhaps where they made them so there still could be some all there who knows um there's a couple of good looking fields around it and you never know i might even get to meet up with a farmer he might uh allow me to go permission on that thing right i don't know but anyway we'll go back there give a more serious hunt this is just a recce visit really um yeah, so that's found a lot more other stuff, but I'm bother cleaning it. But this is just some of the uh, the highlighted bits that I had and kept in my pouch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.